Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I thought I'd do a voiceover on this one because it's been quite a while since I did a voiceover, so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but these nails were on for five weeks and it's my sister, so she has moved house, she's deep cleaned her old house, she's ripped up tiles and flooring and god knows what else in her new house and we only managed to lose one nail, which I think is pretty amazing, so I was really chuffed with that. So now that I've grown out a bit more, we're going a more almond shape. And here I'm using the Bluebell bit from Willow Academy on around 20,000 RPM. And I'm just removing the colour right down to that base layer. And there was a little bit of lifting as well, um, so I got rid of all that. And then here I'm going in with the Magpie Beauty 240 grit hand file and just filing them into a nice almond shape. Now I did prep these nails using the laurel bit from Willow Academy, um, I just forgot to film it so we've skipped forward to the nipping stage and these are the personality um, on Instagram, I'll link them below, they're the reliable nippers I think they're called. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about these, uh, they cost me about £35 and they're nice but I feel like the ones I got from Amazon for £10 were sharper so I don't know if I'd buy them again. They're alright for now and they do make a nice clean cut but I don't know for some reason they just don't feel as sharp, I'm not sure why but yeah they're okay. Um, but yeah I'm just nipping away that cuticle, um, my sister doesn't really do anything with her nails, I've only just managed to get my hands on them um, and she's going to start coming regularly to get them done so they're just so satisfying to do <clears throat> oh excuse me so satisfying to do all the cuticle prep and the nipping and stuff i just oh, i love it so yep yeah, i'll jump in when we are on to the next step So I just want to mention as well, before I went in with this, I went over all the nails with prep and dehydrate, um, scrubbed them for 10 to 15 seconds on each nail. If you're using Magpie, it's really essential that you use the prep and dehydrate um, before any base coat or build me up or anything. Um, but then here I'm going in with the Get A Grip base coat. It is honestly amazing. I used to use Rubber Up because when I first rebranded they just brought out Rubber Up so I started using that 
um, but I've since found out that you should only really use that on problem clients, so people who are getting bad lifting and things. Um, it's just a bit harder wearing, which is good, but I found it chipped more because it wasn't moving with the natural nail because it wasn't as flexible, if that makes sense. Um, so since they bought out Get A Grip, it's honestly amazing. Get A Grip and Give Me Strength paired together is like a dream team. I do have a few videos of the Get A Grip base coat. I did a wear test, so I've got a video of me applying it and my first impressions and then another video three weeks after and you can see how it's worn and what I think and things like that. So I'll link them in the description box below if you want to go and watch those. I then did go in with a layer of Give Me Strength Peach, um, but I think I forgot to film that, so I'll jump back on when we are going in with the colour. And now we're going in with Good Golly Miss Molly from Magpie. Um, this is one of my favourites. I always use this as like a base for nail art or if I'm doing a baby boomer, I'll use this. Um, it's just such a perfect nudie pink. A few people say they find it streaky, but I personally have never had any issues. Um, I think you need to work a bit thicker with it. Um, normally magpie advise it's thin to win but I don't really find that myself um, you don't want it thick obviously um, but you just want a decent amount on your brush and you want to float it um, more than applying it really thinly and then you can see the brush marks so if you do it that way you won't have any problems so I apply two layers of this cure for 60 seconds each and then I'll jump back in for the nail art And now I'm going in with the Prep and Dehydrate and just removing that tacky layer. Um, if you're doing any nail art, it's always best to remove the tacky layer because then it doesn't slip as easily and you can control the product a lot better. Um, this is now Jumping with Joy and I'm using the Magpie Striper brush. I absolutely love this design. It's one of my favourites that I've ever done, um, but I've never done it on a client. I've only done it on myself. So when my sister said she wanted this design, I was so happy because I just think it's so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with like the midline nails. I know it was a bit of a craze a few months ago, but I still love it. So um, yeah, I'm just going in with that. 
And with the striper brush, if you're having trouble getting nice, neat, straight lines, what you want to do is you want to make sure you're using the whole of the brush. So instead of picking up your product and just using like the tip of the brush and trying to keep your hand really steady and bring it down, you want to put the tip of the brush at the bottom of the nails or where you want the design to start and then you want to lay the brush completely flat and then as yours you will only need to bring it down a tiny bit because the brush most of the time covers the rest of the nail anyway unless you've got really long ones um, so yeah put the tip of the brush down lay it completely flat and then just gently pull it down and the brush will do all the work for you it makes it so much easier so if you are struggling with lines definitely get a striper brush <clears throat> and it will save save you so much pain I used to panic if people asked for stripes but it makes it such a breeze having a good striper brush so definitely recommend that <laughs> going in using the same striper brush um, and then using Disco Diva from Magpie and this is actually a gel polish so basically it's um, it's like crushed up silver flakes in a gel polish and it's really um, good coverage and it's just packed full of these flakes so it makes it so easy to apply and there's no real technique to this I'm literally just putting a blob at the bottom of the pink stripe and then I'm just gently fading it down So I was happy with how the silver was looking. I cured that for 60 seconds and now I'm going straight in with the Leica Diamond top coat. Uh, this is the best top coat I've ever used. It's so shiny. You do need to remove the sticky layer at the end so it's not a, um, oh, what's the word? A no wipe top coat, that's it. So you do have to wipe off the tacky layer with a bit of cleanser, but it's very minimal. You literally just need to do a little side to side and then pull it down and then and then it's amazing. And the shine also builds after it's been cleansed. Um, and whenever I have clients come back after three, four weeks, their nails are still so shiny. So definitely recommend getting like a diamond top coat. And then I use a bit of NAF cuticle oil. I've got the cherry one, which smells amazing. So I pop a bit of that on and that's the set done. I hope you've liked this video. Please give it a like and subscribe for more. Follow me on Instagram. I'll link everything below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.